Let's talk about Gunnar Stockton. Let's have a little Gunnar Stockton yap session here. Georgia's spring game in the books. Spring practice is now over. They'll be moving into working out, lifting weights, getting after it over the course of the next few months. That's what they're going to be focusing completely on themselves, just getting better. And Gunnar was productive this spring. It's been a very productive few weeks for Gunnar Stockton, the QB2 for the Georgia Bulldogs. He was out there a lot yesterday. Georgia, and Kirby's talked about this, and he talked about it again after G-Day. They want four quarterbacks on the roster, four scholarship quarterbacks. Well, they've got three now with Ryan Puglisi, but he, uh, look, he, he didn't play yesterday. He's dealing with a knee injury. You see him walking around out there on a cane. Um, so that's not a great sign. It's a lingering injury from, from high school, and he didn't play yesterday. And so he's been out for a lot of the spring, and, and he's been limited with his reps. Well, that's good news for Gunnar Stockton, because not only did he rep a bunch of the twos, he also got the third string rep. So Gunnar Stockton's been able to improve, get better over the course of the spring. Had one drive, maybe two, with the first team offense, but for the most part, he led the second team offense against the second team defense. Um, they mixed it up a little bit on defense. There was definitely a handful of players like Gabe Harris and Julian Humphrey and guys like that 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 played on both the black team defense, which was the first team defense, and the red team defense, which was the second team defense. And I will say, the only thing I will say, because I did think that Gunnar Stockton had a pretty good day. I don't think it was amazing. I thought it was pretty good. And there was one element to his game that you can't really evaluate, and we'll get to that in a second. But that is my only note as far as, hey, look, there was K.J. Bolden, Ellis Robinson, Chris, uh, Chris Cole, you know, Joseph, I can't say it, J-A-A, number 99, a guy that I think is going to be really good. A lot of freshmen out there. And so he, you know, can take advantage of that. A guy that's now in the program, this is going to be year three for him. And if Carson Beck gets hurt, he's going to get. He's going to be the one that's inserted into the football game. It will be him that Georgia expects to lead them. It, it will be a next up a next man up mentality if that is to happen. Ryan Cooley from Dog Post here. Talking about Gunnar Stockton and how he did at G Day, how his spring has gone. I think that it was good, right? You you go out firing with a with the deep ball to Anthony Evans. And that's a guy that we've seen him connect with in the past. You think back to the Orange Bowl against Florida State. He hit two deep balls, right? He connected on two of them. I have I have one thing to say about that though. Um, I, I don't think they were good balls. I, I, I just thought that both plays, the defender could have picked it off. Like they, if they just made a play on the ball, that was the defense's ball. And that's my only thing about that, especially on that first deep ball where he threw it to Anthony Evans. The, you know, I thought it was a little short. KJ Bolden, I think if KJ Bolden's not a, a, you know, a freshman that's only been on campus for a few months now, I think that he, he at least bats that down or at least makes a play on that. So that's my only note, and that that ends up, you know, feeding into a lot of his production. Between the two teams yesterday, right, he ended up being 23 for 37 for 246 yards and a touchdown. All right, got that, that touchdown. I'm blanking on who his touchdown was to. Uh, it was to Sokovi White. Sokovi White, yes. That was a... Another guy, right? That you know, G Day, you get to see a lot of future guys, and and it's the same, it's the same sentiment with Gunnar Stockton. But what are the good things that we saw out of Gunnar Stockton? I think he gets the ball out pretty quick. Uh, as far as decision making goes, I think that even if something wasn't there, making the decision to throw at a player's feet, right, on these quick out routes that they like to do with the running backs, where the running backs lined up next to the quarterback in the gun formation, and they like to shoot them out left and right. Quick little halfback screen. You know, there's different terminology for it, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a little swing route. Even if it wasn't there, and that was the you know the first or the second read, and the play's kind of blown up, Gunner knows to just throw it at the guy's feet, make sure that it's it's not a, a play that can end up being super detrimental there. So yes, there were some good signs. I think you definitely saw some good out of Gunner Stockton. I think that he was accurate. I think that there were a few throws that he made across the middle of the field that were really good. So throwing the football. It was up and down. I, you know, he did connect. Look, he connected on the deep balls, and I can't say anything about that. I just didn't think that that they were necessarily great. The running aspect is the part that you don't get to see on G Day, and he only took off a couple times, and 
He was, you know, stopped after a few yards. The thing about Gunnar Stockton is he is a very good runner of the football, but part of what makes him a good runner is his lack of fear of contact. He's not afraid of it. He can make it, and he's a physical runner, more physical than most quarterbacks as a runner, can break a tackle maybe more than the average quarterback. So that element you don't get to see at all in a scrimmage capacity where the quarterback, they were wearing white, which meant non-contact, do not hit this guy, do not touch him in any in any really aggressive way. So Gunner, you don't get to see that part of his game. You don't get to see, hey, how you know, how does he look running into Georgia linebackers? How does he look running by Georgia defensive linemen? You have to think that over the course of a season, and in practice obviously, you hear all the time these players talking about how practices are harder harder than the games at Georgia. A lot of players, I think Javon Bullard is is the one that I can most recently think of that was talking about how it just is easier on game day. Why is that? Because of how good the Georgia team is, and it's good on good in practice, that offense versus that defense. So part of you really would like to see, how does Gunnar Stockton run against a really physical Georgia defense, which is different than the Florida State defense that you're seeing them play. You're seeing Gunnar Stockton line up against Florida State's second and third string defense, and he gets seven carries for 46 yards. And... He was an effective runner, and that's something that they went to immediately. They get him out in the game, and I think that his first, the first thing they did was have him take off on some sort of option play out to the right side against the Seminoles, if I remember it correctly. I was on the field for that one, so sometimes it registers a little bit differently when you're standing right up next to it. But Gunner, they, it was Mike Bobo showed immediately, hey, if Gunner's in the game, we're not afraid to run the ball with him because that's something that he does really well. Not part of the game plan for G-Day. You don't get to see the quarterback run. So I wish we could have seen it in that capacity, uh, but we didn't. I thought, I do have a take. Like my, my gunner takes have been kind of back and forth. I think that he was a good quarterback. I think that he can win football games for Georgia. If, if he's inserted into that situation, now he's starting to get more reps. He's been around a little bit longer. He played in the Orange Bowl. He's going to get some garbage time snaps this year. He should be getting maybe a couple pass attempts per game, especially when George is up by a large margin. Is he ready? I Two things against Gunner, and I, I feel like I've said a lot of positive things against Gunner. I've been a big fan of Gunner Stockton's game for a long time. I've been watching him for a long time. Uh, you know, back when I was in high school up there in North Georgia, my school's playing Raven, and I was getting to go and watch Gunner as a freshman. So I've seen him progress a lot, and he's gotten better and better as a quarterback. He's always been really good at running the football, but he's gotten better and better as a quarterback. I don't think that his arm talent is as good as Carson Beck's, which is where I'm getting to at this point. I don't think that his arm is as talented as Ryan Puglisi from what I've seen. And all I've seen of Ryan Puglisi is a couple of practices where I get to go in and watch a little bit and videos. So just off of that little bit, I do think that Ryan Puglisi has more arm talent. I think that he could probably throw the ball a little bit further. I think he can throw it faster. I think he's got more zip on the ball. I think there's more velocity on the football when you watch him throw it. And those are two, you know those are like NFL tools that that these NFL scouts and and you're just looking for a guy that's really really talented. I think that out of the three scholarship quarterbacks, he probably has the least amount of arm talent. I can't speak on how good of a quarterback Ryan Puglisi is yet. I haven't sat down and watched him play high school football. I didn't go up there and watch, and he hasn't been a starter or haven't seen him in a scrimmage. So I don't know how good of a quarterback Ryan Puglisi is. Didn't get to see him. I was disappointed. I really wanted to see what his arm looked like on display against a defense. I wanted to see what his brain was like picking a part of defense, and that is something that I think Gunnar Stockton does a pretty good job of. Every once in a while... And, and every quarterback does this, especially Carson Beck. You know, he does it a little bit more than I'd like out of my quarterback. If it's me coaching, you know, Carson Beck, I, I, I didn't like how many risky balls he threw in that scrimmage. I think there was a couple more than, than you would want. Gunner is doing that less and less over time, in my opinion. And you saw that in the Orange Bowl, a couple of those balls. Man, I don't know if you should have thrown that, Gunner. I didn't feel that way. Yesterday, I felt like the throws made sense. There wasn't like, oh, I gotta look away. I thought that he, you know, put his wide receivers in positions to make plays, and I thought that he made good decisions. And that's always been one of the better parts of his game. But if Ryan Puglisi can do those things too, I don't know. I just think he might have more talent of an arm, and we're we're gonna probably have a real conversation about that quarterback job next year. The 2025 quarterback race, though. Gunnar Stockton is in the lead to be the starter for that. I thought he had a good G-Day showing. 
little Gunner Stockton Yap session. Make sure you're signing up for our newsletter. I've linked that in the description down below. It just takes just takes a few seconds to be a tapped in Georgia Bulldog fan. So I appreciate your viewership. See you next time.